This is Eddie Gray with Garnish Music Production. Today we're going to be talking about quantizing drums. This really applies to everything though. You could quantize a bass and a drum track together, a guitar track with a synth track. This is really about quantizing audio. Let's start working on drums. Here I've got some loops that my company and I worked on for Akai. When I play the track, you'll hear it. Sounds pretty good. In my opinion, it sounds kind of loose though. Okay, great. Because of the digital audio revolution, we get to do what would normally take in the past minutes, if not hours, we get to shed all that time and we get to quantize on the spot. Here's how I want you to do it. Go to the mixer, shift click around the entire group that you want to quantize and create a group. So you can see here that I created a drums group here and you designate where you want this group to go. So my drums are currently on group one. After that, you want to bring up the groups window. You see how I have the region inspector float and the groups window here. I've got those designated both to different key commands so they can come and go as I please. This is the groups window here. So you can perform all your instructions here or you can just drag it out as we've done before. Let's increase the size of it. Not only is this a great way to start to create groups, but you can also start just to organize your sessions in general. This especially applies if you have 60, 70 tracks. So because my drums are all in a group, I can press the letter H here and that automatically hides the drums. It doesn't mean you've deleted them. It just means that you've got more screen real estate to work with. All right, back to business. So here in the disclosure triangle where it says settings, you want to open that up. After you've opened that up, you definitely want to click this option right here. It says editing selection, quantize locked audio. This is especially why this feature was created. Do me a favor for now also include automation mode and volume so you can control all sorts of stuff all of the reverbs uh, how you color your tracks the idea is that by creating the action once you don't have to do it over and over again i have four drum tracks i don't want to have to automate every single time so if i for example have all this turned on i go to automation i create one point and now all of a sudden my drums will automate as a team and will save me lots and lots of time. Again, this applies to sends, to panning, etc., etc. Back to quantizing. When I quantize my tracks, they will all quantize together now because they are a group. You look at my region inspector, everything is quantized to an eighth note. So let's hear these tracks now. One more thing that you should be aware about. You see this letter Q right here on the track header? It's called Q reference. Let's turn on quick help to see what it does. So when we scan the Q reference button, it says here, include the transients of all regions on the track as reference points during quantization. You can also use the Q reference checkbox in the track inspector. Okay, let's verify. Here's the track inspector. And here is the Q reference. When I turn this off, this goes off as well. When I turn that on, lo and behold, that also turns on. So let's turn on the Q reference to make this a little bit tighter. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Keep studying. 
keep learning, keep applying, and I'll see you on the next one.